Hey guys, it's Jack One Day talking here, and today I'm going to show you how to download and install worlds on Minecraft for Windows 10 or slash Bedrock Edition. So what you want to do is head over to these two websites. I've links in the description. They are just basically websites you can download maps for free off of. So what I'm going to do is head over to the first one I put in the description. I'm going to download this map I'm hovering over now. So I'm going to click on it. Once I found the map I like to download, I'm just going to read through it, make sure like, yeah, I'm happy to download this world. The pictures look really good. And I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom and you'll find a download section as you see. And it'll tell you the supported Minecraft versions. So you need to check that to make sure that the version of Minecraft you're running is going to be supported on this world. What you want to do then is click the .mc uh, world link. So once you've clicked that green link, it'll take you to a new tab where you can download this map. So what happened there was just a little warning page to tell me what to do and that is just literally wait 5 seconds, skip the ad and then wait for this, it will tell you to allow or block, what you want to do is click allow, if you don't click allow it won't direct you to the page for the download. Now you've done that you can accept the cookies for this web page which is Mediafire, you probably all used before, click on the download and then you'll get a new window, you can just close that like so, don't fall into spam traps obviously. As we're waiting for the world to download, can you please go and subscribe to my YouTube channel? I'm on the road to 10,000 subscribers. I appreciate all the support I get, and I'm really trying to grow an active sub base. Just on a quick side note, as you see, I've got Google Chrome notifications popping up now, as I allowed the notifications on that previous tab. Now, what you want to do is just basically go into your Google Chrome settings and disallow that. As you can see, there it is. I'm just going to click remove but you can click block as well uh, and do that on both of them there we go and then that's just basically now not going to show them notifications again right so now that world is downloaded i'm just going to drag it onto my desktop however you can put it in any folder then what you need to do is just double click on it that is it it loads up minecraft uh, bedrock edition or windows 10 edition once it's loaded up there you go as you see at the top it says level import started there you go and now it says level import finished successfully and that is literally it if you click on play the world should be there like so there we go there it is and you can just click on it and it will load it up and you can start playing this is really useful if you want to download worlds such as like pvp worlds or like mini fun game worlds like tnt running other stuff like that and play with your friends because i know a lot of you guys don't want to be joining them public servers all the time anyway guys please don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below and i'll see you in the next one peace